All right, here we go with the drone video for the 14 acres bordering Bryant Creek, Hunter Creek, the Veracruz Conservation Area. Those two little portable buildings you see on the property are not included with the sale. They had belonged to the person who was uh, leasing the property and they will be removed. As we fly up, we're actually facing southerly, directly over the property. On the right, you've got Hunter Creek. On the left, you've got Bryant Creek. If you see right there where they've come together, that, that is right on the property. I mean, this is this is an unbelievable property. The power line you see is a, is a residential power line, so you've, you've got power literally on the property. So Bryant Creek, which is gorgeous. It's probably the most popular creek um, in the Ozarks. It's a, it's a river. They call it a creek. Um, you can fish. You can canoe. You can kayak. You can swim. I mean, it's crystal clear when we were out there taking videos uh, we bumped into, guy, into a guy who was fishing, and he said you can actually catch trout uh, in there because up Hunter Creek a little ways, uh, there's a trout hatchery. And uh, when, the, when it rains heavily, some of the trout tend to escape, and they populate that section of the river, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're looking northerly over the property. Bryant Creek on the right, Hunter Creek on the left. Uh, in a moment, when we fly up and, and get a little more perspective, We've spliced in a short separate video uh, with a map that shows the layout of the property because otherwise it's tough to make sense of unless you're familiar with how this property is situated. So I think in just about a minute um, we'll flip over to that video and then we'll go back to the drone video and we'll finish up because this will be a flyover of uh, the entire property. There's Bryant Creek. Beautiful creek. I mean... Just crystal clear water, natural, huge sandbars and gravel bars. This area is fantastic. Uh, the Veracruz Conservation Area borders most of the west side of this property, and that just gives you additional land for hunting or uh, camping or recreation or whatnot. Going over Bryant Creek now. Okay, in a moment, I believe we will spin around and then... Uh, it will be that, that spliced in video that uh, shows the boundaries of the property. So this is the south side of the property. This is Bryant Creek right here. This is Hunter Creek right here, so you can see where they flow together on the property. Uh, in the drone video, you'll see that the red truck is parked just south of the county road. You'll see those two portable buildings, um, which are not included. They, they had belonged to the person who was leasing the property, so they'll be gone. Um, but I believe we we start to fly over here over the south end. We look northerly. I'll zoom out a little bit here. The shaded area you see to the west, that's the Veracruz Conservation Area, so that's um, public uh, land. So you can also use that for hunting and recreation. There's a good campground here, a little mini um, campground, another one down here. And then, let's back up one more here. Actually, let's go, I'm trying to keep this quick because we do plan to just splice this right in with the drone video. Okay, so then we fly northerly uh, up to County Road 214, which borders the north side of the property. Then we spin around, look to the south, and I think we fly back down again. So really quickly on the topo map, lowest part of the property is here in the meadow adjacent to the river. Uh, so, I mean, that'd be fine for camping or, or whatnot, but you probably don't want to build your permanent home there because you, you, excuse me, you would have to elevate it quite a bit because obviously that's adjacent to... Bryant Creek and Hunter Creek, so that meadow will have water in it at some point. Uh, but if you go up here to the north, it rises up steeply, and you've got a large flat area here on the north side, and we'll see that when we do the drone video as well, or as we go back to the drone video. Uh, there is there is an approach. There's a driveway going in, um, small turnaround spot, but, I mean, that could be a, a superb building site for a home or, or a, a cabin or a mansion or, or whatnot, um, potentially view to the south. Here we go. Switch back to satellite. Uh, but yeah, in the video, um, like I said, these are different base maps. This neighbor to the south, that is some type of uh, church camp. So probably a pretty good neighbor there. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll have a lot more information, obviously, in the listing, but we wanted to do this video to hopefully splice it in so that the drone video makes a little more sense. And back to the drone video. So now we're, we are looking northerly over the property. That's Hunter Creek. 
So the land's on the right there. You can see the, the little portable buildings in the meadow on the south side. So as we back up here, we'll get a little better perspective uh, as to how this property is situated. Just a, a stunning property. The, the history of this exact area and this property is amazing. The town of Veracruz was right here. It was the original county seat. Um, the old uh, Veracruz mill uh, was literally on the property. As we look to the north, you can see how the property rises up as you go north. Um, the reason this kind of protrudes out into the Veracruz conservation area is it contains, uh, this property it includes the, the uh, original mill race and the mill pond. So that's the shape you see that protrudes out to the west into the conservation area. Okay, so looking northerly, we're looking, I mean, we're basically centered over the property looking, looking north, centered over the south side of the property. So if you follow that meadow straight up past the board, portable buildings, go up that hill, the property levels out, and then there's actually another county road on the north side. Uh, and I believe as we do this flyover, we'll see that as well. So this is about uh, 20 minutes east of Ava, Missouri, which is now the county seat of Douglas County. It was Veracruz 100 or 200 years ago. Um, Civil War battle took place right in this area. So people have definitely found uh, artifacts. I mean, arrowheads, of course, which is pre, pre, pre Civil War, but also Civil War artifacts right in this area, cannonballs and other cool stuff. Supply so northerly. Um, the property slopes up steeply and then levels off. And you've got a big level area at the top on the property. Three to the left is still the Veracruz Conservation Area. That meadow you see on the left, on the north, that is not on the property. It's all wooded on the north side, other than um, a driveway and a small uh, building site, basically. And you can see the county road that is on the north side of the property. There's Bryant Creek again off to the northeast. <laughs> Big mature timber on this one. You can see a little bit of that driveway. That's the county road uh, right in the center. And then off to the right uh, is the private driveway on this property. When we were out there, we pulled down the driveway. Uh, we were in a truck, but we didn't need four-wheel drive. We pulled down the driveway. Um, to the, the little clearing. There's the driveway. You can see it a little bit. There's actually a mailbox there, so I, I guess this property has an address. We haven't really checked into that. So now we're looking southerly from the north side of the property. You will definitely find big mature timber on this one. Um, Hundred plus year old hardwood trees and pine trees. After this property has been paid for in full, you can log it. There is timber value there. Um, it'd be super cool to use those trees to build a log cabin or, or a timber frame cabin. You can do that after it's been paid for in full. Looking southerly, if you look down in the meadow, you can see one of those portable buildings. So it's easy to tell right, right where the property is. And, of course, it goes south all the way to Bryant Creek and Hunter Creek. There's just nothing else like this. I mean, there, there just literally is, is no other property like this. It's just amazing. It would be so neat to build a home on that north side and maybe create some kind of trail going down the hillside to the meadow area. Alternately, you can just take the county road down the hill. Okay, we're going to get down and have a hopefully a little better look at this this monster timber on this property. Super private out here, super peaceful. But not that far out of Ava. And once you're in Ava, you're uh, probably uh, a little over an hour from Springfield. So there, I mean, there are actually people, quite a few people who live right in this area and work in Springfield. You can see that level area toward the, the lower right side of the picture. You can see the driveway a little bit if you look there. So now we're flying southerly. That driveway is off to the right. You can see that just at the lower right corner. 
So that could be an unbelievable building site. Now as we fly northerly, you can see how it does slope down steeply. What that does though is that provides you with uh, the potential for a very nice view down over the, uh, the meadow and, and the, the river itself. There goes a hawk off to the left. Big mix of, of pine trees and hardwood trees here. Big mature trees. That is awesome. And he's just kind of checking out the timber right now. There we go. So looking northerly. If you look to the left of that left cabin, you can kind of see where the grass had been mowed somewhat recently. That's probably about the property line, I would guess. So you've got quite a bit of this meadow area. Again, you've got power, including an actual pole directly on the property that you can see there. That's super nice. You may or may not need it, but I mean that, that does add value to the property for sure. The creek frontage, the conservation area frontage, uh, the access with, with two county roads is great. I think one of our favorite spots ever is, is this property where Bryant Creek meets Hunter Creek. It's so beautiful. There's always a big, beautiful, clear, uh, uh, I guess you call it a hole, hole of water. And there was, at some point, a, a rope swing on the big tree right there on the property, and you could swing into that hole of water, and just unbelievable. What a property. So that's the drone video. Again, check out the listing page, instantacres.com, if I didn't already mention that. I'm sorry. Uh, but if you're not already there, you can go to instantacres.com uh, to check this one out. Spectacular property. Instant owner financing. We're excited to talk to you.